All right, so this is a video of my 2014 F-150 uh, platinum white tri-coat paint. White wasn't my first choice of color, but when I saw this platinum white tri-coat, I really, really liked the look of it. Looks real deep in the sun. It's got a nice metallic pearl type of color to it. Went with the uh, Amp Terrain Grippers on the tires. Didn't see a whole lot of reviews out there on these tires, but they were the most aggressive all-terrain that I could find that had a tread wear warranty on it. So I really like them. They ride real quiet on the highway. Uh, got a nice aggressive tread on them. Um, I've only had them on there about 500 miles so far, so I don't really know a whole lot about them yet, but I'll do a review later on, a little update, tell you what I think about the way they wear and everything, but they ride real quiet, surprisingly quiet for how aggressive they are. Off-road package, so it's got the uh, locking rear diff, um, 373 gears, uh, heavier duty shocks. Went with the ready lift leveling kit on it. Now I know a lot of people out there are gonna say, why'd you go with the ready lift? Why'd you waste the money? You know, it's so much more expensive than rough country. Well, I'll tell you why I did it. Cause I've had a rough country leveling kit before and the hardware snapped on it twice. And that's why I went with the ready lift. Ready lift has the best quality hardware. It's the 6060 billet aluminum, so it's corrosion resistant. So salt on the roads and everything's not gonna bother it. Uh, my rough countries I had before, bolts broke on two of them because they got corroded um, and uh, just hardware snapped off of them. So it's worth the extra money. The ready lift is a two and a half inch, uh, costs an extra 150 bucks I think on top of the rough country installed um, and I think it's money well spent. So got the dual exhaust put on it, routed out the back, uh, went with the three and a half inch tips, uh, went true dual with the Flowmaster 40 series. Um, I like the sound of it. Sounds real good. Um, do a uh, warm start for you here. I just shut the truck off a few minutes ago, but I'm going to go ahead and start it up here real quick. I think it's got a real good sound that idle. Sounds real good when you get on it too. Of course it's the 5.0. Wouldn't have put the exhaust on the EcoBoost. Main reason I went with the 5.0, I like the power curve that it's got. It was a lot more gentle and a lot more steady than the EcoBoost trucks. Um, it sounds a lot better with the exhaust. I knew I was gonna do that, so. Real happy with the exhaust. I got it done at Performance Muffler down in Norman, Oklahoma. Shout out to those guys. They did a really good job. Um, I'm kind of OCD, so I wanted the, the pipes routed a specific way. Um, really paranoid on didn't want them hanging low wanted them evenly spaced um, coming out at an exact space in the bumper the guys did a great job on uh, really making me happy with that so anyway I won't go over the interior too much it's a Lariat Plus package so you know it's got all the goodies you know sunroof uh, the Adobe pale Adobe leather in it and everything like that um, but uh, Next upgrade is going to be some wheels. Um, I'm okay with these wheels. These are the factory 20s, um, but I am going to go to the uh, to something with a little more of a negative offset, uh, maybe like a negative 12 offset, um, and then some uh, fender flares to keep the truck clean when you get that negative offset on there. So tires I went with are the 285, 55, 20. I know I could have gone bigger, but I had 295. 5520s on a truck before and it rubbed anytime I turned a corner anytime I ran over the smallest little object it rubbed so I wanted more articulation in the axle be able to go over stuff and not have to worry about rubbing every single time so anyway that's it if you got any questions just let me know